All right. Ah, oh, crap! I didn't. Uh, I damn it. <laughs> Just, okay. <laughs> so I didn't really think this through. Um, but basically, um, I saw that. Okay, first of all, let's fix the camera. Okay, wait. Let's zoom in so you can see my horrible close-up face. There we go. Okay. Now we're good. I should have set that up before I hit record, but I told myself, as soon as I hit record, we are going until the video stops. My camera, um, I have a Canon T3i Rebel, so literally after 12 minutes, it just stops recording no matter what. So I'm going to get a timer, though, so that I know like when, we're en when the video is coming to an end, because <laughs> the last thing I need right now is um, to be like in the middle of something like really deep and then just have it cut me off mid-sentence. That would suck. But um, we got the timer now, uh, so we're going to be going for at least at least 10 minutes. We can just see if I can go and just talk non-stop for 10 minutes. And I want to give a shout-out to my boy, Jonah Green, um, for coming up with this um, video idea. Uh, basically, I don't know, he was talking about, like, there was some person who was saying they were going to quit the internet because, like, the internet's a terrible place and everyone on the internet is an awful person. I didn't see her video. Um, I'm not gonna look it up because I, I feel like it's just gonna be a lot of negativity and I'm not really about that. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so he made a video and he was like, yo, I'm just gonna go 10 minutes, call it the strip down challenge. I thought it was gonna be completely different. I thought it was gonna be something funny. Well, actually it was funny, but I don't know. When I heard strip down challenge, I was like, what? I was just assuming it was gonna have to do with getting naked or something. But, um, no, no, he just, he just sit and sat in front of a camera and he just talked for 10 minutes. And, um, if there's one thing I think I got down, it's, um, it's just talking nonstop. So we're going to just do this. I, I know the thing is usually with my videos, like if I wanted to, I could do all of my videos in one take. Cause, um, w when I prep my videos, I really do. I kind of make like, um, I used to have like a full script. <clears throat> I used to have like a full script and now, um, I don't really script it. I kind of just have like the title that I'm like, what it's going to be about. And I have like maybe like three points that I want to like get to. And then I just pretty much, I look over, I know where I'm starting and then I just kind of wing it from there. Um, and that's, I, I like that a lot more, um, because I kind of, it's more natural. It's like more like genuinely me. I feel, I feel like my videos lately have been like way more genuine. I don't know. I've just been, um, the past few months I've kind of been just like working a lot more. I'm doing like a lot of different projects. That actually kind of reminds me, um, I, I went on Instagram today, or was it today or the other day? I don't know. I posted a picture. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, y'all should do that. I'm not editing this video, so I'm not going to put anything in it, but link in the description down below if you want to hit me up. But basically, um, I, I had someone leave a comment. Like, I asked, what do you want me to make a video about? And um, someone left a comment saying, just talk about you, because we don't know much about you. And um, I was like, you know what? That's actually, like, a really good point. You guys don't know much about me, because all I really talk about is... Um, dating relationship advice um, and I tell stories about me uh, getting rejected by girls <laughs> um, I actually really enjoy talking about stories of me like like that are self-deprecating like I could even tell you guys about what I was doing last night where I was just like completely <laughs> it's just like like last night oh my god it's like I, if, if I don't even want to get into the details you kind of have to like not say certain things because this is going on the internet forever but um I hope you guys don't mind this is all over the place, by the way, because I am going to go from topic to topic, whatever comes to my head. But, um, like, for example, uh, last night, what, what ended up happening, actually? Let me try and, like, back this up, because I remember my buddy hits me up, and he asked me, oh, okay, I remember. All right, so, actually, it started with my one business partner. Uh, his name is uh, Satiri, so shout out to Satiri. Um, obviously, that's not an American name, um, but he just became a citizen yesterday. He just became... A legal American citizen. He's been living here for like 18 years. Not an American citizen. He was born in Greece. Um, and he passed this test yesterday. So I was like, yo, you know what's happening? We're getting you laid. So, um, <laughs> so uh, it was me, him, and our other boy, Daryl. He's another one of our business partners. And um, we basically were just like, yo, let's just, let's just hit up a college and just like see what happens. Um, because the, the, what, what we, the college we ended up going to, uh, if you guys go there, uh, it, it's Westchester University, um, and I had gone there the, the two weeks prior, <clears throat> and uh, the, two weeks ago, it was their homecoming, and when I went there, it was my first time ever going to the college campus, and it was, it was awesome, like, like, dude, everyone was nice there, see, I go to other college campuses, and like, I, I, would, I don't want to say everyone's a dick, 
but a lot of people are dicks. <laughs> so, like, when I was at Westchester, everyone, literally every single person was nice as shit. Everyone loved me. I could, I could start a conversation with anyone. I, I could just, oh my god, it was, it was awesome. Um, and that was two weeks ago, and like I got, I, I remember actually, it was um, two weeks ago, I ended up, I uh, met someone off Tinder, that's what happened, I heard it was like their homecoming, so I went on Tinder, I started looking for people from Westchester, talking to them, met one girl, I was like, she seems cool, so I went two weeks ago just with Daryl, we went there, and she was awesome, and then um, she ended up sneaking us into like some frat party, and then uh, I went down into like the basement of the frat party, and like, it was just really, really fucking hot, so I was like, fuck that. And then, right before I went upstairs, a girl recognized me, um, not from YouTube, but we went to the same high school, and I, uh, she was like, how do I know you? And like, when, when someone says they recognize me, I don't like to bring up my YouTube to people anymore because I feel like it's like, kind of arrogant, but she asked me how she knew me, or like, if I, why, she, why I look familiar. And I said, uh, yeah, I make YouTube videos. And she was like, oh my god, I know you. And so, you know, that's how we ended up meeting. And then, so I made, like, two solid friends that night. That was awesome. And then, so that whole, that, that weekend was dope. That night was uh, awesome. And then, that was homecoming. So then the next weekend was Halloween. And then, Halloween weekend, I go back down. I meet up with the same people, the, with the girl I met the first time. Not the Tinder girl. She was somewhere else. But... I met up with the other girl, we ended up going to a bunch of parties, and then I met another girl that recognized me from YouTube, she actually recognized me right away, and I was like, oh shit, I, I love this place, I'm gonna come back here forever, <laughs> and um, I don't know, it was just, it was really cool, all the people there were like really dope, let me see, let me just see how far into this we are, how, how far into this video are we, I don't know, where's my, where's my little clock? Alright, we're like six minutes in, oh my god, this is not, I could go on for hours talking, oh my lord, but um, and then I draw a blank. <laughs> okay, so uh, what happened? Uh, I Oh yeah, okay, so I meet the other girl, I end up hanging out with them, and this was Halloween, so you know, everyone's dressed up in costumes. If you guys want to know what I was for Halloween, do I have it? Yes, I do, this is my costume. It's kind of sad I still haven't like gotten rid of this, and I just threw it on my bed. Just, just, just a fun fact, by the way, you guys don't really see my whole room, but since this is like an uncut, like, one-take video, my room is like the messiest place in the goddamn world. Like, I don't even want to show it. Like, you want to see my... Look, this is my background right now, okay? It looks kind of clean. If you go over here, I just threw everything on my bed. Like, I swear to God. I do, I do not... It's bad. Like, this is like the only time I ever even remotely clean my room. But, um... Anyway, this was my costume. If you guys saw my video uh, about last minute DIY costumes, I was this. Because I couldn't find my freaking Netflix shirt. And I'm kind of glad it wasn't, because I think a lot of people ended up being that, so... I was I was something that was a little less original, but I ended up being, if you don't know what this is, I was an identity thief. So, as you can see, um, I actually am an identity thief. I'm someone named Ashley, I'm someone named Kyle, um, I'm Drake, uh, Morgan Freeman, uh, Jake from State Farm, I, I stole his identity, Donald Trump, a uh, lot of people, a lot of people. Um, yeah, so, that's what I ended up being for Halloween, and uh, I don't know, it was chill. And uh, we got into some parties that night as well. And so <clears throat> these per these two nights, it was just, it, it was like these first two weekends were just amazing. So I was like, yo, we got to go to Westchester again. All right, we got to hit it up and uh, we're going to see what's going, what's, what's popping. And uh, we get there, it's completely dead. Like literally no one was there. So <laughs> it's, it sucked. It, it honestly, it was like every time I met someone that time, it was like, they didn't want to talk to me or like, I don't know. They thought I was just trying to use them to get into a party or something, which... If we're being fair, I kind of was, but uh, all the people that I knew were not around that weekend, so I had to, like, make new friends, so instead of going to the Westchester parties, we ended up going to um, the bars, which were very close by, and it was so much fun. I ended up seeing, like, all these people who, like, I knew from, like, either college or, like, other businesses that I do, and did it just, what, my screen just did a little thing, but it didn't stop, it's still recording. Okay, cool. But, um, anyway... I gotta, okay, so we're at 840. Oh my god, this video's like done. By the way, guys, if you are still watching this video, and you, and if you, if you like this, I could make this a damn series. These are the easiest videos in the world. I don't have to edit. I don't have to edit. Oh my god, I love this. Um, yeah, if you want me to do that, uh, just give this video a thumbs up down below, and, like, leave a comment, let me know if you're about it. Um, if you would like me to have a topic for 10 minute 
cocks. I don't know. I'm gonna be watching the retention rate on these videos. I'm gonna see how long y'all actually watch. If you guys actually watch all the way through, then I will I will definitely do this. I would definitely do this more because this is super fun. Um, but basically, if I was gonna end that story, I could I gotta like close the story. Um, I ended up meeting a lot of really cool people. I ended up meeting some uh, really cool Colombian girl. I like Colombians. Uh, met another girl from Italy. I like Italians a lot too. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It was really cool. The reason I liked seeing them was simply because they were not from this country, and then it's like my boy's not, so they all mingled, and yeah, we yeah, got 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 to look out for your guys, you know. And uh, what what matters is that Satiri had a good night, you know. Um, I guess, I guess if I was gonna close this with some random moral, because this is all off the top of my head, um, it's the fact that when when you go out with other people to the bars. Try and make everyone else have a good night because I was I was making sure my boys had a good night and uh, You know when I made sure when, when they were having fun. I was having fun. I don't know. That's that's how I feel You know what I mean? Like I guess if you give other people good emotions um, I don't know I get I get good emotions from making other people feel good. Anyway, it has been 10 minutes It's been over 10 minutes actually so guys. I hope you like this video if you did give it a thumbs up down below I already said that um, and if this is your first time ever watching one of my videos and you don't hate my face Feel free to subscribe, and guys, that's really all I've got to say on it, so thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next Monday. Peace.